Hi, David here from Making Stuff Easy. We're back in the kitchen today because it's inclement weather outside and I can't do the external video I had planned. But over the weekend I got inspired by a friend. She posted on Facebook a picture of a French apple cake. And I thought, hey, I like that. I like the post. And I thought, hey, let's give it a go. So let's go. start with the ingredients. I'm using four Granny Smith apples and four eggs. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. I'm using raw sugar but you can use white sugar or any granulated sugar. One and one third cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Three tablespoons of vegetable oil, four tablespoons of milk, half a tablespoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and some cinnamon sugar. This is one part cinnamon to four parts granulated sugar. And it's just sprinkling over the cake just after baking. Start by preheating your oven to 160 degrees fan forced or 180 if it's not fan forced. Then start to peel and core the apples, cutting them to about 16 slices. Make sure you take all the core out and all the peel and then put them in some water to keep them from going brown. Now add the sugar to the eggs and whisk. This is a great grandma's uh, whisk and it still works fine for this. Whisk until it's actually light and creamy. In another bowl, add the flour, salt and baking powder and lightly mix with a spoon. Then transfer that into another bowl. I made a mistake because I need this bowl for mixing. Put the sugar and egg mix in that bowl and mix it. What you don't see here is I've added the dry ingredients in three batches and continued to whisk. Then I've added the oil, the milk and the uh, vanilla essence and uh, mix again for a short time to create a good thick consistency. Now uh, dry the apples on a tea towel, uh, separating all the pieces and taking off any uh, label or any pieces of uh, core left. Then lay out a single layer of uh, apple in the bottom of the tray and then add a second layer of apple making sure the whole base is covered. Then sprinkle with cinnamon and then pour over the mix. Now my bowls are slightly too large it should be a 23 centimeter bowl but mine's 25 so my mix isn't quite as deep. Then with the remainder of the apples uh, then spread them out over the top in a nice pattern. Then bake in an oven preheated to 180 degrees or 160 degrees if fan forced for 50 minutes. And check it. if a skewer goes in and it comes out clean then it'll be cooked. Turn it out, careful the pan's hot and onto a cooling tray and then sprinkle some of the cinnamon sugar over the top. Additionally you can optionally uh, spread over some uh, icing sugar or other fine granulated sugar. And there it is, it looks great doesn't it? It tastes great too. As you slice the cake, you can see the apple at the top and the bottom. It's great with uh, vanilla ice cream and a sprinkle of cinnamon, just for dressing. So if you like the look of this French apple cake, why don't you give it a go yourself? You'll enjoy it, I think. If you're viewing this video through the website, then please go to the YouTube channel through the link below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.